obviously you know this my chin strap. Well, let me tell you all about it because that is something that we're going to review in this video. What's up, guys? Uh, thank you guys for coming back and thank you so much for the support on my last video, on my very first video. It was amazing. I cannot thank you enough. So um, this is my second video and we're going to jump right into it. We are going to talk about this lovely, stylish <laughs> chin strap. So I've been seeing these around online, prefer like, you know, specifically Facebook or Instagram. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because it'll give me something to review. So that's what I did. <laughs> um, I picked it up on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. Um, so it had good reviews, but stupid me did not read the reviews um, because it was for something completely different. <laughs> so I, um, whatever, I took the chance. Um, so you basically just wear it. It's got the ear holes here. Um, which don't fit my ears because my ears are gauged, so they hang a little bit lower. Um, and anyway, so I've seen a little bit of a difference. I didn't really see a difference at all until I took the before and after picture, which is this right here. Um, and there was a slight difference. And I wore it for about six days, um, an hour each day. Um, and I, yeah. It's highly uncomfortable. It's not comfortable whatsoever. So I would not sleep in it if you do wanna try this. Um, but yeah, so that's the review for this video. There's not really much to say about a chin strap. Um, but yeah, so this is a new month and it is June, which is also Pride Month. And it is also Myasthenia Gravis Awareness Month. And if you guys are familiar with that, you probably won't be because it is a very rare disease, which unfortunately my mom suffers from, but she is a very strong woman and she's pulling through, so she's doing really well. But, you know, make sure that you show some support for Myasthenia Gravis. If you do Amazon, maybe do Amazon Smile this month and do the Myasthenia Gravis fun. Um, and yeah, so it is also Pride Month, so please, please, please support that as well. Um, so this video is going to be all over the place because I've had so much happen since my last video that I'm super excited to talk about. One in particular is something from my childhood that I have been searching for forever. And um, my wonderful husband came through the other night and that is Dunkaroos. I couldn't believe it. Yes, we bought the whole thing. Don't judge. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. And they taste just as I remember. I was ecstatic. And I, I let my kids try it too because you know what? A little taste of the 90s might do them some good. So Dunkaroos. Um, if you're not familiar with Dunkaroos, I actually had these back in the 90s um, by Betty Crocker. It's a uh, cookie and icing. And what you do is you take the cookie and you dip it in the icing and you enjoy the hell out of it because it is freaking amazing. Like I could not, like I, I can't express to you how much I love these freaking cookies. The snack is like amazing. It's 190 calories per serving, um, but I don't really care because like I said, they're amazing. Um, I, uh, we found, my husband found them at 7-Eleven, um, because they, we just, we just got a 7-Eleven down the street and I haven't had, I always have to search for my 7-Elevens whenever I go visit my, um, my best friend in, in Fort Worth. I have to stop at 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee sometimes because we, down here in Houston, we don't have any, um, that I know of. <laughs> so, um... They put a 7-Eleven down the street from us and I could not be more ecstatic because when I was a kid, I used to go to 7-Eleven all the time and I would mix like every single Slurpee flavor they had in one cup. And I'm pretty sure my mom thought I was insane, but that's okay. She still loves me, I think. 
But anyway, um, so Dunkaroos, 7-Eleven. I know that you kids out there, my age, we're not kids anymore, kids at heart out there, my age, they're out there at 7-Eleven. Go get them before they're gone. So we bought the rest of them. I'm really sorry. In our area, um, but they should be getting more is what she said. So this isn't like a limited run that I know of. So they're getting more of the Dunkaroos, so go out and get them. Get them if you were by a 7-Eleven, go get them. I cannot stress this enough. And if you've never had Dunkaroos before, you are completely 100% missing out and you need to get that done. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you was something that my um, best friend from the Boeing Bookshelf, Paula, got me for my birthday. Two things, actually. Um, so she got me, she actually talked about Briarwick in her video, um, the state of the bookshelf that was just, that just came out, um, the newest video they have. Um, it's called Briarwick Candles, and this one is the House of the Brave, and it's cinnamon, cinnamon tea, cranberry, and oranges. It's amazing. I love it. I've never had a, a Briarwick candle before, but something that you can find on Etsy, I think is what she said. And it's Briarwick right here. And you can find them on Etsy. Um, also something that she got me from Shop Disney. I'm so excited about this. So she got me this from Shop Disney. Um, and it says Constance Hatchaway, and it says um, it's from the Haunted Mansion. Um, and so it's, it says the bride. So underneath it here, it says, here comes the bride, time after time with each new husband, a wedding more sublime. Listen more, listen now as her plan unfurls with each new husband, a new strand of pearls. Her love would prove costly, much more like a state tax when they ran out of money, she gave them the axe. So if you are familiar with the Haunted Mansion, um, the bride is the one with the axe in her hand, obviously. Um, she is one of the 999 happy haunts in the home. Um, but anyway, so I kind of wanted to show you um, what, what, uh, what she does, because it's amazing. So you push the top here. Um, also, I'm sorry I get super excited like I love the Haunted Mansion theme oh, it brings back a lot of memories I just love it I can't I love it so much oh god anyway okay so um she got this on shop Disney for my birthday I'm so excited I have so many on my wish list and after I after I seen it and it came in this really amazing amazing box um it was um silk lined and the jar fit right in there it was so cool Anyway, um, I still have the box. It's displayed in my closet. Um, I should have brought it on here to show you, but that's okay. Um, you know what? If you ever to were buy one, that would be the surprise that you get. So, um, yes. And also... <laughs> she laughs. Also, I wanted to give a small business shout out to um, Danette. She has, um, she makes uh, amazing tumblers, um, just like this one right here with my Maleficent. Um, I picked the design and colors and she made a masterpiece of it. And I love it. Um, this one is my biggest one because here in Texas it gets super hot. Um, she also, this was my very first one, I love it so much. 
Um, this is the very first one she made me. Um, and like I said, I picked the colors and what I wanted. I showed her what I wanted and she put it together for me. So amazingly. Um, so if you can't really see, there is Mickey Mouse glitter on the cup, which is amazing. Um, and she's also made this one for my mom, um, which is in California. It was her Mother's Day gift. Um, and she's made this one for my aunt, which I have to send to her. I'm really sorry, Aunt Tina. I'm going to get it out, I promise. <laughs> Um, so it says Jeep and it has the angels and down here it says the best aunt ever because she is. Um, so here is her card. Yeah, let's show you the name of the company first. And then here is her card. And I will also take a picture of it and link it as well. Um, so I'll take a picture of it and post it up here so you can see it better. And I will also link her Facebook down at the bottom um, as well. So if you guys want amazing tumblers. Um, oh, before I forget, she also made these for my friend Elizabeth and my friend Paula. Um, so, yeah, they came out amazing. They love them. Um, um, so yes, um, please reach out to Danette for any tumbler needs. She does ship, um, and, and also she can do just about anything. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that they came out. Um, like my aunt collects a lot of, uh, red, white, and blue Americana stuff. And, um, so when I, when she... <laughs> When she so graciously said she wanted a cup, <laughs> I said I would get her one and this is hers. Um, she knows about it already and I have to send it to her. I'm going to get it out, I promise. Um, um, so um, I sent Danette what I wanted on here and she captured everything my aunt is about. Um, so I'm really happy about that and as well as my mom. So my mom's was... Um, so before the myasthenia gravis, she did have a very rare cancer on her thymus and we're reaching her five years and I could not be more happy for her. I'm so excited that, you know, because it was a really, um, it was really, really rough on my mom. I had, I, I was there for the surgery, but I was not there, um, when, with, during her struggle. So, uh, because we are states apart, she's in California, I'm in, in Texas. Um, but she's pulled through, like I said, she is a very strong woman and, um, yeah, she's going to be cancer free five years in December. And I'm so excited that I get to go down there and celebrate it with her. Um, so I had sent her an Eeyore cup for her mother's day that said the good thing about the rain is it stops eventually. Um, she's done, she's done amazing job. She's done an amazing job. She's, she's really just, it, the cup was, it, it meant a lot to me. And I know that it meant a lot to my mom, but it meant so much to me and it had to be perfect and that it was. So I'm so excited, um, that she, my mom loves the cup <laughs> and I'm just so happy that, um, I was able to gift her such an, such an amazing thing um, that came from my heart and did not work so hard on it that she did such an amazing job and I'm so glad that the cup came out the way it did. Um, but anyway, so if you ever need any tumblers, anything at all, I know that I'm a little Disney crazy and I'm probably not even done yet because I really, really want a Haunted Mansion cup so I will be in touch. <laughs> um, uh, so this is the 40 ounce cups and these are the big ones um, and my aunt lives in Arizona so it gets hell of a lot hotter out there than it does in Texas um, like flip-flops burn into the ground hot don't ask it was hot 
learned my lesson. Um, and this is the 20 ounce, um, which also was the, um, the ER cup and also the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff cups that she had made for me as well. Um, so if you are ever in the market for a customized tumbler, she would be the person to go to. And she does amazing work, as I've said before. Um, so anyway, I think that's all for today. Um, I want to thank you guys so much once again for the support that you have given me in my first video. Like I never would have thought. Um, and also make sure to check out um, Briarwick for their candles. Um, from what Paula has said on the Boeing bookshelf, they are amazing. And this one in my hand is phenomenal. So pick that up. Also, Dunkaroos at 7-Eleven. Go get them now. Um, and the chin strap, which was just something random I found on Amazon and decided to uh, try it out. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you know what? It's worth a shot. I've seen a little bit of a difference, but not too much. But you know, that could just be my weight fluctuating. Who the hell knows anymore? Anyway, so with that being said, thank you so much for joining me on my second video. Be kind to everyone, be respectful, love one another, treat everyone how you would want to be treated, and just don't be a jerk. That's all there is to it. But anyway, seriously, spread love, not hate. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.